So let's talk about how to make this cute little Disney thing. So first I'm just gonna quickly show you how to upload some free fonts if you don't know how to do that. So I'm just gonna come up to Google and just Google Disney fonts. Let's just go into defont.com. And here, these are the two I'm using. It's called Walter and Waltograph, but you can see they have some other fonts in here. So just say, since I already have these two installed, let's do another one. So say I'm gonna install this Disney Heroic. So over here, I'm just gonna click the download button and this is gonna download. So on my computer, this is a PC and it's set to show my downloads here. You might have to go into like a download folder or something else where you download these, but all you do is open the file and then you're just gonna double click on this. You're not gonna extract it. All you need is to double click on this and this will pop up. And then you just click the install button right up here and that's it. Now it is in your computer and you can use it into Cricut Design Space. So sometimes they'll have a true type font here or TTF or they'll have an OTF. It doesn't really matter on the free fonts. They both pretty much work the same way. So now when I go back into Cricut Design Space, so if I already have this open and I try to open the text, it will not be here. AI search in Disney. You'll see that that Disney is not in here. So you have to actually refresh Cricut Design Space for it to upload. So make sure that you save whatever you're working on. I'm gonna save that. And then I'm gonna click my refresh button up here. So now if I click on the text and then on the font and again, type Disney, you will see that that Disney Heroic is now here. And it doesn't always change to exactly what it is, but it will work, say if we typed in dollars for this one, you will see that that types into that font that you uploaded. Okay, so now that we have the fonts in here, like I said, I used Walto, I mean Walter and Walto Graph, and this is Mouse Memoirs, but you can use one font for all of them, or whatever you wanna do. So let's make the Mickey Mouse. So I'm just gonna move this over. So all you need to do is we're just gonna add shapes. So I'm gonna click on shapes, click on circle, and this is gonna be my big circle here. And then I'm gonna click on shapes again and click on another circle. So I'm just gonna use these two little arrows here to make it bigger or smaller and kind of put it up where you think a Mickey ear would be. And you can make it as big or as small as you want. And then I'm going to duplicate this so it's exactly the same size. So up here on the right, I'm gonna click duplicate and then I'm gonna grab it and pull it over here. I can make sure that they're aligned right. I'm gonna click on this one with my mouse, I'm going to hold my control or command key down and click on this one. So they are both selected and then I'm going to come up here to align and I'm just going to align them bottom. So now you know that they are both aligned exactly at the same place. So now I'm going to use my cursor. I'm going to put a box around the whole thing and come down on the bottom right side and click weld. And you'll see now those parts went away and now you're just left with the Mickey Mouse head. So super easy, that's all you need to do to get that. So now let's work on the text. So I'm gonna click on the text and type in dollars here. And I'm actually gonna use, start typing Walt. I'm gonna use one of these ones. So this is the Walter Graph, Walter, Walter Graph UI. So I'm gonna use that one and bring it up here, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And so for this one, I'm actually going to curve it just a little bit. So I'm gonna come up to this curve right here and click on it and then just start dragging this over to the right and you'll see that it curves down. 
Okay, and I just want it a little bit. And then I'm going to click the text again and type four. And this one I used mouse memoirs. Right there. And again, you can use these to size it how big or small or whatever you want. And then I'm going to type in Disney. Um, this one, let's use Walter. Let's see what that one does. Okay. And like I said, you can make these bigger or smaller or however you want. Mine's pretty big on this one over here. Okay, so then I want all of these aligned centrally. So I'm gonna put a box around all of them with my cursor and again, come up to align and align center. And you'll see that those move a little bit. And so for mine, since I want to know exactly where to put them, I'm actually gonna slice them out. You can see on this one, if I ungroup it, and group it again, that these actually are sliced out. So then I can know exactly where to put them put them on when I attach them to my glass bl block. This is an optional step. You don't have to do this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one and then hold my hold my control or command key down and click on all of these. And I'm going to group these together. And then I'm going to hit duplicate. So these are the ones that I will have cut out because when I slice them over here, you'll see that they slice out. So now that you have those exactly how you want, them, I'm just going to leave those there for now. So I'm going to come back to this group and actually, if you see, if I go and I put a box around both of these, the slice won't come out, come up down there. It won't let you slice more than one thing. So even if I click on this and click attach, the slice still won't come up. So what we need to do is actually click on the weld down here. And this makes it one thing, even though it's not welding anything together. But now when I go to do this, you'll see that the slice is here. So now I can slice this. And I'm just going to move that over there. And you'll see that these they actually sliced into different pieces. Okay, so I don't need any of this. So I'm going to put a box around it and click my X. So now I have this and this is gonna fit right in there. So now I'm going to use my cursor to put a box around it and group it. And this is just so I can change the size and everything will stay proportional. So my block that I'm gonna put them on, I just like to see what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna insert a shape and a square so my block is six and a quarter of where I want it. So I'm just gonna change this color so I can see it, just a light gray, and then I'm gonna arrange it and send it to the back so it's behind it. So now I can see if I wanna make this any bigger, I can do that. Okay, so for these, I'm actually, I want to cut them out in different colors. So I'm actually gonna ungroup this, ungroup this so I can actually change the colors. If you want it all the same color, you can leave that, but I wanna make this red. So I'm gonna do that red and then for them to cut exactly how I have them here, I'm gonna click the attach key. So now that's gonna attach just these letters together. So then I'm gonna click on the dollars and let's just change that to yellow. And again, I'm gonna come over here and attach it. And again, on the four, I'm going to do this one white. And again, come over here and attach it. So you can definitely do them all the same color and you would just leave them in a group and actually click the attach so they would stay attached together as you cut them. So now I'm going to go cut them and I'm going to have four different mats because I have four different colors. So I'm going to get rid of that.
So when I go to make it, you'll see I have the four different mats here and that the dollars is how I want it and Disney is how I want it. So we're gonna hit continue and connect our machine and then we're gonna start cutting the vinyl.